What is up you guys? Ethan again back at another epic adventure and today we're checking out this. This was an artist's house. It was built in the mid 60s. It was renovated in the 80s. It's incredible in there and today we're going to be checking it out. Um, I think you guys are really going to like this one. You're going to want to stay and watch the whole thing because this entire place is amazing. So I will uh, keep this short and sweet and I'll see you guys inside. I'm only showing you the outside, the front, because this is going to be demolished by the time you see it. The fence is all up, so you have these pillars. Like, look at this. It's like a big lion statue. That's so cool. And then this big driveway. It's a double entrance. It, like, loops around and it goes over there. Here's the house. Three-car garage. There's excavator. I don't think that's the one that's gonna take the house down. I don't think this is big enough, but it's definitely a start. There's the other entrance to the driveway. Comes up over here. Yeah, it looks like they're just clearing out trees and stuff. Get ready to tear this down. See the power meter there is gone. Yeah, they're just clearing out trees and all that stuff. Um, I don't think the garage connects to the house. So maybe if we can get in there, I'll go show you that quickly right now. Um, you have this little like bridge that crosses over this little like. It would be like a pond when it wasn't frozen in winter, but there's the front of the house. I don't know, is the garage open? Yeah, it is. Okay, it is not attached to the house, so I will show you this. So, more wood it looks like for the fencing. And then more demo, extra like fencing. There's a plant. Yeah. Huge. <laughs> Interesting. Where does that go? Oh, just the back. Yeah. Today what I have for you is a house that we have seen in the past, but that's okay because it gives it a chance for people who haven't seen it to see it and those who have seen it for a refresh and to see what's different. This house is going to be demolished this week. The fence is up. There's an excavator in the driveway, which is, I normally wouldn't show you the exterior of this house, um, but we're going to be showing you the exterior today solely because when you see this, this house is going to be, it's going to be gone. Um, so this house was built in 1965 originally. Um, it was originally built for a, an artist and that will be a very apparent, uh, as we get into this video, you, you will see why. Um, and, uh, he's since moved to Italy and someone else has since bought it and lived here for a period of time and they have chosen to now demolish this to rebuild a new mansion which is such a shame because this is such a big like custom unique house it's such a shame to see it go but it is what it is unfortunately um there are some like mid-century modern-ish kind of design here uh aspects of this house that i think you guys are really gonna like um it's huge i think it's like six or 6500 square feet or something it's a massive house um but I thought I'd give one last little tour of this place for you guys. And um, yeah, so we're gonna try and just keep this at a minimum intro. And um, is there anything else I need to say? I don't think so. Excuse me, geez. All right, let's get into the video. Okay guys, I'm gonna start this video off in the basement because we've uh, we got Big Banks with us today and he is upstairs. So, 
Um, let's start over here, I think, and we'll work our way back. So there's a staircase, which we'll get to. Here's a, I presume probably a bedroom. I, I was in this house somewhat recently, but I, I do so many places. It's like, I, I forget details and such. So if I act like surprised, even though I know you guys know I've already seen it, it's because like, I genuinely like have too much to remember. I see so many places and you see some things and you remind yourself, oh yeah, that was in that house, you know? So anyways, this is a very like 1980s bathroom. Well, actually I meant to mention in the intro, this house, it was built in 1965, but it had a pretty well full extensive renovation in 1989. So these are very 80s tubs, tiles, sinks, countertops and toilet and such. Um, so it makes sense, but there's your first little bathroom, probably like a spare bedroom with a little closet. Yeah, we'll get to that. Here's a, another bedroom. I like this wood, this design here. That's a very, this is probably from the 60s. This is a very retro 1960s, 70s era design, this wood. So that's pretty cool. You've got a little closet here. Nothing crazy. Now, the first time I did this house, this hardwood floor used to be carpet. Same with that room and same with uh, another main part of the house out there, which we'll get to. Here you have your hallway of closets. Um, I think this is probably, yeah, so your water tank and stuff. I look at the old Newtone fan. That's definitely from the 60s. Cool. Wait, was there anything around? No, okay. Closets. Empty closets. These old wooden doors. Oh, track lighting. <laughs> Another closet. This is probably just like a storage area. Another bathroom already. We're already at two bathrooms. I'm gonna try and keep a count because I think there's gonna be a lot of bathrooms in here. This one looks more recent even than 1989. Like this is a very modern uh, sink and shower. This looks past 15 years. What's up guys? Nice little bathroom. I don't know why you'd need it when you have one already down there for those bedrooms, but... Ah, yes, I forgot about this. This, like, little basement kitchen. So you have... Well, it's a com combination of a kitchen and, like, a preparation kitchen and, like, a laundry area. So there's your washer and dryer. Um, you have a newer, very modern, actually, countertop for the sink. Um, that's some interesting wallpaper. I don't know if that's... Yeah, it's showing up on camera. Oh, it's textured, too. That's cool. Um, but then you have this little separate, like, preparation kitchen. So there's your GE uh, built-in. I love this stuff. I love these old built-in ovens. Um... That's so cool. I know to a lot of you, these were like normal and like you grew up with this type of stuff. But to me, this is some, you know, someone who like, this is before my time. I think it's cool. Um, and then there's the old Frigidaire um, dishwasher. So that's pretty cool. Another uh, dryer, probably the old one. 
for when they replaced it with that one. There's your panel. Lots of panels and switches and all that fun stuff. And there's your alarm panel. As you can see, it is off. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, so then you have a separate kitchen. So this is super cool. So you have, oh, that one, oh it does close, okay. You have this tile design, this retro striped, like geometric tile design that is very like 1980s. Um, your stove top, but then you have these white and red uh, cabinet doors and even a red sink. Um, this even looks very, 80s modernist almost if you will this the style of the tap here so that's pretty cool um yeah this is awesome this is a really really cool kitchen um the stripe so it starts there and it runs down runs all down the backsplash and then goes up there so i thought that was pretty sweet no uh, and the red, obviously, on the top of the countertops. Just a su super cool 80s kitchen. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, that's awesome. And then in here, yes, this was the sauna. This is a big sauna. So you have uh, this lovely wood. It smells great in here. Here is a shower. Okay, there's your shower. And then... This here, you got like your timer, all that stuff there. And then this is obviously your main sauna area. There's your rocks. And then your benches. It's pretty big in here. Very spacious. Um, I'm 6'4", and I can't stand straight in here. So it's a low ceiling. But uh, first time I did this house, this house had power still. And I remember the light worked in here and everything. It was, it was really cool. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go this way. So double French doors into the main basement area. Before we get into that, I want to do this back room. Um, this is like a sunroom style thing. These windows remind me of something you would see at a Wendy's in the 80s or 90s. I just love this stuff, man. This architecture is just, I don't know how to, how to explain it. It's just, it's so cool to me. The floor's bubbled up. There's been some type of water damage or something. <laughs> Is this door unlocked or is it locked? That's oh, unlocked. I kind of like to have it locked while we're in here. Or else it's like a safety thing. Not that like if someone wanted in, they wouldn't get in if they wanted to, but it's, I don't know, it makes me feel better. Um, I'm wondering if this was an addition in this room. Cause look at the exterior brick and like there's windows. So I'm thinking they added this. And that was the exterior. So like that bedroom on the other side we did first was there. And all this, and this was like doors or whatever. But I think this was added on at some point in time. Now, we'll be able to find out maybe, is there a date on these windows? Because um, often they're stamped with a date on the frame. Um, and if it said like 1989 or something, then I'd say, yeah, they probably added this sunroom when they renovated the house. Let's see. Uh, 91 is the date on this door. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this was added then. This is a, uh, design of that time and I could see them adding this. I just can't see why you'd build a house with like exterior windows on the inside. It just wouldn't make sense. Um, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Anyways, enough of me yapping. <laughs> this is a very big sunroom. Got two entrances, so doors over there and doors over there, and then you have the two sunroom windows. 
um, nice wall sconces. You have recessed lighting, or as we call it here, pot lights in Canada. That's often a term we use. Um, we'll go in there later. I don't want to skip this main part. Or do I want to do the main part last? Yeah, let's do that. We'll go around. We'll do this part first. And then when we go upstairs, we will cover the main area. So, um, don't know what this room is for. There's double doors there and a door there. You could honestly, like... You could probably use this area as like a workout area or like a gym area. And there's no mirror or anything like most gyms have. But uh, I don't know. I don't know what else you'd use this, this space for. It's just weird. You know, maybe in there you'd have like a pool table or something. But I don't know what you'd put here. Another panel. Uh, oh, yeah, this bathroom. I forget. Yeah, I remember this now. This pink sink. With this kind of like salmon colored granite countertop. Um, these pretty 80s wood cabinets. And then in here you got a little bathroom. Just a pink toilet. And I only showed you that because of the cool pink toilet. Other than that, I wouldn't show you a dirty toilet. So I apologize. Pink blinds, that's cool. Cool tile design. There's your shower, and there is your hot tub. I love this room. This whole aesthetic of this room, I think is so cool. You know, big windows, you have a door here. Um, yeah, that's wicked. Look at the jets. Man, you get a good look at the pool. It snowed last night. Um, and that's why there's snow on the ground. It's almost mid-January, and this was like our first like real like snowfall that actually stayed. <laughs> It'll be gone in the next two days. It's supposed to heat up and get to like seven degrees and it's gonna rain. It'll be gone again. <laughs> Anyways, this is this is super cool. I love this. And then this, can I open this? Or is it locked? Well, it's not locked. Uh, the latch is not in it at the top. Why isn't it opening? Oh, because there's a nail in the bottom of it. I'm gonna show you the pool. I guess I could go over here. Should I do this separately or do it now? Is there a nail on that one too? I ain't opening. Oh, there is it. What the heck? Weird. Anyways. Nice rec room here. Like I said, probably put like a pool table here or something to that effect. This would be an amazing room to play mini sticks, like mini hockey. Um, it'd be a little hard on the knees because it's like wood, but this would be a good time in here. Mini stick tournaments at the Wazoo. Like, oh, it'd be so fun. That was like my favorite thing to do as a kid, was play mini hockey with my friends in the basement and just seeing this, this is like the perfect venue for that. <laughs> um, so we have a little den here, a little office. That's a very 70s light fixture. Little den here, you have the built-in, I guess you call it a library if you wanted to. You have the built-in shelving unit there. Lovely French doors, double French doors on each entrance. Um, this area used to be carpeted. But the first time I was here, this whole area did. They put this like gross, cheap looking like laminate floor. Here's a bar. Nice wooden bar. Okay, what's up guys? Look at this, all oh, this wood, man. Obviously the water's off, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Still got the copper pipes. I'm surprised that it hasn't been like taken by scrappers. Then again, knowing the area this house is in, I'm not surprised, I guess. 
it's not a lot of like degenerate people out this way, but that's why I kind of try to keep these places on the quiet because that's how degenerate people find them. <laughs> that's neat. Old door. And then you have like a conversation pit, sunken living room. Like this is so cool. The stairs here, yep. Yeah, this area looked way better when it was carpeted. I'm not gonna like lie, like. And it also bothers me like why that one strip is white and the rest of it is this like brick wallpaper looking stuff. <laughs> That's incredibly weird. Lots of lighting. Like, this is a huge space. Like, you know? You've got, uh, what's this over here? This is the furnace. Cool. Nothing back behind here. Just like spare supplies and stuff. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, that's about it. Just your mechanical room, and then um, I'll shut that door. Look at that; it like blends in. I totally can't tell that's a door. <laughs> this is really nice this fireplace is like stone it's like the same uh, stone they used on the the exterior um, I don't know this this the, the perspective from like here gives you just like a an idea of just how big this this space is I think it's incredible like look at that Anyways, I always wanted to see a conversation pit, and here we are. Look at this. New wood. Already broken. It's already falling apart. Like, what's underneath the wood? Is that... There's no way they covered that up. Look at that lovely stone they covered up. I don't get people, man. There's built-in, like, shelf area. And then that's, like, the main landing here. Like, a lot... Look at the wood. Like, the, 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 the beautiful finishings. Like, even up here. This is just so nice. I love when they just put detail into stuff. You don't see that anymore. You know? Um, there's a motion sensor up there. Looks like an older one. And then this area here so i think this was like a little water fountain i think and it ran down into here i think i believe that's what this probably was um but that's beautiful and it's a shame that that's going to probably be destroyed i think someone the owner perhaps or the last resident should have taken this because took in this that's not a word taken taken's a word working on the vocabulary because i get I get uh, critiqued for that a lot. Not that I care, but... A anyways, you know what I meant. You know what I meant. It's not that deep. But uh, this is a beautiful little area. Definitely something an artist would have in their house. Just something like this. And then you have this, like, very artistic, just beautiful, architecturally pleasing staircase. Like, look at that, man. Just the curve on it. These railings... Very minimalist. And there's the art. It begins. So, I don't want to just, you know, show you the best part right off the bat. So, we're going to go this way first, up these stairs. And work our way over that way. Let's go this way first. So you've got 
a bedroom. Bed was obviously right between those two lamps. What's the design on the lamp? That's cool. That's a big chicken. My gosh. <laughs> it's big as the child almost. That's cool. Oh, shoot. What did I do? How do I? Okay. Huh. Nice big bedroom. That door is open. And now it is locked. Is that a mirror? Oh, it is. There's <laughs> your closet. And then look at this. Oh, man. That's very 80s. Only the blue toilet was still here. Yeah, this is a pretty 80s washroom if I do say so myself. These like weird shaped sinks, these were big during that time. A light fixture certainly was. Tiling the blue tubs and toilets and all that stuff, right? This is a nice bathroom. It certainly was 35 years ago. But that's a great first bedroom. And another door there. Look at this. Someone was standing there. Oh, to get the pot lights down. Someone took all the lighting. The glass is so cool. So here's the kitchen. Very nice kitchen. How do those, oh, these latch on, gotcha. Microwave combination. We have the Thermador, built-in oven, and microwave combo. So I'm assuming I just, yep. Yeah, it's actually pretty clean. Wow. Cool. Those are glass, double-sided glass. You've got your stove top here, cutting board. I'd like this, so like on the corners, so you don't hit your head on the corner of the, that would hurt. That's a really smart idea. Double cutting board, look at that. A random vent in the middle of the floor, that's weird to me. And then these cool little cute tiles. Huge sink. That is massive. Like a, another Wendy's sunroom. <laughs> yeah, the center island's huge. It's that kind of cord. Oh, Rogers. <laughs> Put that with the rest of them, I guess. So much cabinet space, man. Nice big fridge to match the cabinets. That was a luxury thing back then. If you had a fridge that matched your, your cabinets, that was a ritzy thing. Now look at this. I don't know how well this is gonna show on camera, but the floor, so I'm gonna hold it straight on the floor. Look at the dip. It's caving in. The sunroom's caving in. Maybe it would be better if I stood on the side here. Look, look at that dip. In fact, the window is literally... See how it's even here, level here? The window is sinking down. You got to What's up, guys? <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, like look at it sinking. The windows. Wow. That's incredible. Wow. These blinds are a mess. Terracotta roof tiles, that's cool. But, uh, yeah. Um, um, can we go here? Yep, we can get to the dining room. Okay, so I want to tease you with that, and we're going to come back. <laughs> Here's your formal dining room. Chandelier is gone. I think that was here last time I was here. But you have these gorgeous wall sconces everywhere. Okay, so I just answered my own question, I think. So remember how earlier downstairs I thought that little sunroom area, which would be below this, was an addition? Here's why I know it was. If you look here, so this would have been a, a door or a window. Um, if you look here, there used to be curtains that ran all along, which means this would have been a door or a window. You wouldn't put curtains over an archway into the entrance of a sunroom. You just wouldn't. It wouldn't look right. It, it just wouldn't make sense. So I'm pretty sure I just answered my own question because that is definitely old curtain uh, rod. So yeah, I think this, this was added on. And in fact, when we go in there, we're gonna check the date on those windows. I'm just very curious now is all. Probably had a nice china cabinet just pushed back in there. I would. Well, actually, maybe not because it would block the um, these beautiful wall sconces. That's not so beautiful, that water damage. Um, and I bet you the chandelier in here was quite nice. I don't remember it, but I know it was there when I was first in here. Nice French doors. That just goes out to where we were. Um, I guess we'll go here first. Long, narrow, skinny hallway. Wainscoting is very nice. Here's the bedroom with a closet. Nothing crazy. What's up, guys? What is with all the bugs? Oh, attic. That's why there's bugs everywhere falling, because someone was up in the attic. Decent bedroom. Can we like move that? I'm not gonna touch it, but like, gross, man. It just makes the shot look gross when it's just like a random Kleenex sitting. I didn't touch it. It was all it was all sleeve. <laughs> um. Yeah, another 80s bathroom, mirrors and cool tile, ceramic tile, the brass fixtures. Um, yeah, it's, hey, the molding's nice, crown molding. Looks like real stuff too, it doesn't look like that cheap crap you get it, like Canadian Tire, you just like stick on. I hate that stuff so much. <laughs> are those lights? Yeah, they are. There's a, a cool closet and another bedroom with a big closet there. This is a huge bedroom. What the heck? This is massive. Come on, open. Not much exciting going on in there. Interesting wallpaper. It's like checkered. I, I don't know if I'd want this in my room. It's kind of, I don't know, not my vibe. But big friggin' room, wow. Like two big windows, huge bedroom. So that's a shared washroom between the two rooms. Obviously, 
You guys seen that? Don't need to restate that. Here's another closet. Pretty big closet. Oh, there's crown molding out here too. It's probably everywhere. Wall sconces. They look so weird without the light bulbs in them. Like, look at that one. And look at that one. Wainscoting, hardwood, very nice. And then here is your formal big foyer. Um, I'm gonna move his tripod to in here so we don't run into it, put it somewhere we already were. Look at this. So John Angel was the artist. That's beautiful. Like, look at this. This used to light up. I remember when we were first in here, the power was still on, and the uh, this is all lights in here. That is so cool. Another painting here. I don't know where these are based. Like, this picture looks like it would be in, like... Well, actually, I, I know this is France, because... That's in French, the sign. That's cool, it looks like an old like church or something. Those are really cool. That one, I mean, they're probably all Europe-based. There's, uh, looks like the ocean, like waves hitting the rocks. That's pretty cool. Wow. So unique, so cool. What is this? Oh, the old security system. Wow. Another bathroom. This is unusual to see a bathroom with a jacuzzi tub right at the front door, but... Cool tile. <laughs> cool. Another one of those weird shaped sinks. There's the front door. Oh, look at this. Is that rocks? What the heck? Is that They're like stones. That's so cool. Closet. Wow. Look at that. Amazing. Um, do we go? I'll go in here first. Here's a, uh, probably an office or a den. Took all the pot lights out. The wood in here smells Nice. Nice floors. Yeah, this is this would have been a nice home in its day. I love this old wood. That's definitely from the original part of the 60s part of the house. This old wood. That's really cool. I wonder what that means. I've seen a few of those where they like, just put a hole in the wall and then marked it. Oh yeah, same with in here, pot lights are all removed. What a mess. It definitely wasn't like that last time I was in here. Wow. This is definitely the master. There's your closet. You double sink. Brass fixtures. Got like a black marble or ceramic. Yeah, it's huge in here. Even the pot lights have the brass coloring on it. 
Wow. Toilet and a bidet, a massive shower. I love this. Oh, it's textured. That's awesome. What a nice place. Like, just incredible. This is just gonna be torn down. How could you leave this, man? Even crown molding in the bathroom, like. Yeah, it's definitely the master. This is massive. Is it another closet? Yeah, it is. These are so nice. So different. Look how new these lights are. September 2020. Like, brand new. And then this, I don't even know what this room would have been because the dining room is over there. So this could have just been like a family room, I guess. So huge. Yeah, there's another one of those marks in the wall. Weird, I don't know what that was for. And uh, another big room, probably like a office or something. No, that would have been at the front. I don't even know. There's so many rooms. And they're all like huge rooms. I have no idea. Big porch area. And then finish off with this sunroom here. This is incredible. Fireplace there, and gas fireplace. But like, look at this. Oh man. Unreal. This is a very like mid-century modern design. Is there a date on these windows to give us an idea? Um, no, there's no, oh yeah, there is. 98, so I don't even know. Um, I did say I would show you the outside. I think we'll go through the basement. So I think that's it. These lights are cool. What is this? Oh, never mind. So many different style of lights. Yeah, is that not amazing? Like, wow. I think that's it. Um. So I guess we'll go back downstairs and uh, I'll show you the backyard. <sighs> Excuse the sniffling guys, it's very cold today. Oh yeah, I locked it. <laughs> oh, 
not much warmer outside. There's your swimming pool. What is that, actually, before we go this way? That's cool, like the heart on it. That's cool. Outdoor sinks. sitting area here with like an outdoor like grill fireplace thing don't want to go too far over there because the neighbor's house is just right there but yeah this place is friggin massive gosh oh i should have wore gloves today should have wore gloves i did not come prepared was that <laughs> diving board wow this is so cool too i love this this like i just gotta stand back here so you can get the whole thing in the shot this like concrete spiral staircase so freaking cool Might have room in there. I see those sheds are empty. They're not gonna bother. Don't know what that was for. But that is amazing. Is there a way? Probably not. I wanna get like a like a good angle. I think I might have to go all the way up here. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Wow. So anyways, guys, that's it, I think. Oh, that's what I wanted to show you. We gotta go around. Um, I wanted to show you the sinking sunroom by the kitchen. You could actually see it's dipping down right there. Isn't that crazy? So it looks like they've added this, this wood as support. But it's not hanging on much longer. So, that's it. We've seen the whole place. I'm going to do my intro, not face, or sorry, outro rather, not facing me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, comment, like, subscribe, and... I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did because this place is uh, absolutely insane and it's literally going to be demolished this week. The excavator is in the front driveway and it is going to be gone. It's such a shame. It's such a unique, artistic, just incredibly, like, architecturally pleasing house has to go. And... It doesn't make sense because everything else like surrounding it, like that house there, that house there, like the ones down there, like they're all this like 60s mid-century modern style. Like you can see that house there, flat roof, like that's a mid-century modern style house. That is a mid-century modern style house. The two down from it, it's going to just completely ruin the entire like style and character of the neighborhood. And um, I, I wish there was a way that like we could put a stop to it, but you just, you can't really. I stepped there. I wasn't gonna go over here, but you know what? We're already here. And I know there's probably gonna be some people who are curious like I am and just wanna see what is in here. So I'm gonna show you. That door is done. Okay, yeah, it's literally an empty shed. I thought it was. I thought I could see it from a distance that it was just empty. Oh, there's an animal on the wall. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Scared me. Hey. Oh, he's in the wall. Okay, we'll leave you alone. We will leave you alone. Beautiful forested yard. 
I don't, what is this? I genuinely don't know what this is. No, it's not a batting cage, is it? I don't know. Maybe that'll give us a... Oh, that'd be a cool shot, wouldn't it? Staircase with the house. Except the wood fence kind of ruins it, but... Okay, now we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I love you guys. Keep you guys... Uh, keep yourself safe. And I'll see you on the next adventure. Peace.